The English language. The English language is the third most natively spoken language in the world and the most spoken if you include second languages. Hailing from England, I'm sure we all know the form of written communication we use in English, the English alphabet or the ABCs. But that begs the question, how did the English alphabet, more accurately known as the Latin alphabet, come to be? Part 1. The Origination For thousands of years, humans communicated through pictures, telling stories throughout artworks, which wasn't very efficient. Then came the Egyptians, who bring the first characters to our world, a series of different pictures that may not even fit the context can be grouped together to resemble a word. This was surely the absolute peak of human communication, right? Then came the Romans. The Romans bring not only the first alphabet, but also the first numerals, hence the name. Roman numerals. This new alphabet was something timeless, something that would be passed on for dozens of generations. Even over 2,000 years later, or two millenniums, we still used the Latin alphabet. Diagraphs and trigraphs were introduced, and as Rome started to conquer the states of Europe, this alphabet spread across the continent, from Germany to southern Britain, which encompasses England and Wales. In the meantime, new languages of their own would be created. Part 2. How was this active in Rome? There was almost a chain of languages with their own corresponding alphabet, which eventually ended up evolving into the Latin alphabet. As we see today, some Cyrillic characters, Cyrillic being the alphabet used in languages such as Russian or Ukrainian, look strikingly similar to Latin. For an example, this acrylic character on the screen looks like a revised version of the Latin character P in lowercase, but this isn't actually related to the chain I was talking about. Deriving from the Egyptian hieroglyphics was the Phoenician alphabet, which shared great similarities, but those were lost after Phoenician evolved into the Greek alphabet, which in turn evolved into the Cumaean alphabet. It wasn't until then that the strikingly similar to Latin alphabet, alphabet Etruscan, finally evolved into the Latin alphabet we all know and love. Part 3. Is the Latin alphabet actually Latin? This may come across as quite a ridiculous question to you, and it would be if this wasn't in a special scenario where it actually wasn't. The extremely similar Etruscan alphabet that Latin directly derived from actually developed much of the alphabet. Earlier records of the alphabet actually could have been traced back to 1100 BCE in Syria and Palestine through the North Semitic alphabet. The Latin alphabet was so slightly altered while the Romans were in power. Not many are aware of the history of Rome, and I did upload a video about Rome and how there were three of them, which I will link in the description of this video. But the Roman Republic was a very early example of democracy before Augustus, the adopted son of Julius Caesar, took power. The classical Roman alphabet consisted of 23 letters, and a whopping 21 of which were completely derived from the Etruscan alphabet. So a more appropriate and historically accurate term would be the Etruscan alphabet, as both languages are currently extinct. Part 4. Now. Here we are now. After the Middle Ages tweaking the alphabet and many European languages using the alphabet, different branches have spread out, our English being a part of the Western Germanic branch. Latin itself is placed in the Romance branch, which includes languages like Portuguese, Spanish, French, Italian and Romanian. Let's take a look at how different languages use the Latin alphabet. Firstly, Romance languages commonly leave out letters like X and are more reliant on digraphs and trigraphs than us. Going into Italian, the digraph CI makes the sound CH as in the English word sheep. North Germanic languages like Norwegian, Icelandic and Swedish commonly use very differentiated accents above letters than that of Romance languages. Shown on screen is the word hello translated into Swedish. 
Western Germanic languages like German, of which the branch is named after, English and Luxembourgish commonly borrow words from surrounding countries, maybe even countries from other branches. For an example, in informal English, the word toilet is borrowed from Romance French, whilst English is a Western Germanic language. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If any of you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on all notifications to be uploaded whenever I post a brand new video.